forms and type, type of music besides what he's been playing a long period of time. He's got two little kids, so he's talented in a, in a, in a variety of ways. Grand kids love him, but we're really, really privileged to have somebody that has the breadth and the scope he does. And my guess is he would really play requests across a wide range of different music. He sang to my wife last night. She just built it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Rod McDonald. <laughs> a bunch of cold water songs. <laughs> hey everybody. Oh dear. I was just thinking how nice it is to be in a town where people don't know it. How are you? And it's just like fade away in front of the TV set. country overseas, worked hard to raise up his family, and have some security. He was looking forward to retirement, a little condo somewhere in the sun. Now they say they just can't afford it, cause all of the money is gone. He's the last American worker. And they got him dead in their sights They're taking away everything that he worked for Somebody turn out the lights He was looking Now he invested his savings on Wall Street Now they're worth two cents on the dime The boys who lost all his money Got a bonus and a bail out at the same time His house, it's worth less than his mortgage And he can't make the payments anymore And the bank is talking foreclosure Since they shipped his job to Bangalore He's the last American worker And they've got him dead in their sights They've taken away Somebody turn out the lights Now he used to go and see a doctor Before his waistline got thick Now his insurance costs half his income Still won't cover him when he gets sick They passed a national health program for all of the people to share Now they say we just can't afford it And gave a tax cut to all millionaires He's the last American worker And they've got him dead in their sights They're taking away everything that he worked for Somebody turn out the lights Now the governor had a vision for the future All the children in public schools We're staring at the same on-screen teacher Broadcasting from gotcha. my bay off in June They'll memorize the same test answers They grow up a nation of fools And re-elect the same politicians Who send their own kids off to private schools He's the last American worker And they've got him dead in their sights They're taking away everything that he worked for Somebody turn out the lights He still votes in every election God-fearing candidates, each and every one They tell him they're gonna end abortion And they're never gonna take away his gun 
Then they go off to Washington or Tallahassee Play the corporate millionaire's game Send his kids off to war Till there's no money anymore Then they tell him he's the one to blame He's the last American worker And they've got him dead in their sights They're taking away Song of love we made is 
a lonesome serenade that follows me on down the avenue. I walk alone and pity me. I'm happy in my misery. A guy who's always true to the blue. This time I thought I had found her The only one designed to be my mate Now tonight there are other arms around her I guess I've got to be resigned to my fate The song of love we made is a lonesome serenade it follows me all down the avenue I walk alone and pity me I'm happy in my misery A guy who's always true to the blues A guy who's always true To the blues side of my life. Yeah. You hear the guitar when I'm playing this quietly? Yeah. It's kind of a nice sound in the room, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's because it's a library and it was designed for people to be able to hear themselves. <laughs> <laughs> someone from the past, but of a true beauty that was meant to last, and I wanted to speak to you, or even say your name and get it right. You sleep beside me, here in this quiet night, now you sleep beside me, here in this quiet life, do you ever wonder? How you became my wife The room was lit by just a candle Over by the bed You walked across the room Smiled and turned your head And I felt her recognition Not from another time But of the meaning of the words Will you be mine? And I wanted to hold you Safe from every sorrow or strife You sleep beside me here in this quiet life Now you who sleep beside me Here in this quiet place Do you ever wonder At the futures we face At the sound of thunder I look for shelter for two And I walk through this world Knowing I'll come to rest with you And I feel a recognition Not a habit or right or wrong But a feeling of arriving At the place where I belong and I whisper, I love you, and leave you in your own state of grace. You sleep beside me, 
here in this quiet place. Here in this quiet night. Well, I have a brand new CD that's just come out about two months ago. In fact, I have a couple of them. One's a Bob Dylan songs. Maybe we'll do one of those later. And, uh, and one is a new songs of my own. And um, it's always kind of interesting to see what songs people gravitate towards when your CD goes out there. Um, I, I get a uh, occasional postings from a national bulletin board called Folk DJ. And probably by now about a hundred folk music DJs around the country have the CD and have been playing it. And the two songs that are getting the most play are totally surprising to me. One is a very quiet, introspective song, and if I think of it, I'll do it in the second part. When I'm feeling more quiet and introspective. And, um, and this is the other one. This is the one that's so far getting the most airplay. This is sing along. I know you don't know it yet. Now there's a brand new boss, and all the gloves are off. The attack dogs are let out of their cage. The rich want to be sure, the fearful and the poor stay forever locked up in their rage. And all this talk and change makes the other guys deranged. It's amazing how they love that status quo. That's why they all maintain the new boss is an alien. And sit back and rink in all the dough On more on radio Tell the people what you know We're counting on you to save our liberty And if your facts are wrong Make them up as you go along And you might get promoted to more on TV That's <laughs> It's a dangerous world out there, everybody gotta do his share. Don't let anybody play you for a fool. Little Johnny, eight years young, really ought to have a gun. In case a nine-year-old shoots up his school. Hey, it's more on radio, tell the people what you know. We're counting on you to save our liberty. And if your facts are wrong, make them up as you go along. You might get promoted to more on TV. Try one time. It's more on radio. Tell the people, tell the people what you know. We're counting on you to save our liberty. And if your facts are wrong, and if your facts are wrong, make them up as you go along. And you might get promoted to more on TV. Now Hitler had two legs. The new guy has two legs. Do you see where I'm going with this, my friend? <laughs> Hitler's number two was Joe. The new number two's a Joe. Oh my God, the Nazis are taking over again. <laughs> it's more on radio. Tell the people what you know. We're counting on you to save our liberty. And if your facts are wrong, make them up as you go along. And you might get promoted to more it's more on radio, tell the people what you know, we're counting on you to save our liberty, and if your facts are wrong, make them up as you go along, and you might get promoted to more on TV.
that one. It's real short. <laughs> That's unusual for my size. Well, let's do something a little more abstract here. I live in Florida now, but I'm a product of the Greenwich Village music scene in New York City. Uh, not, uh, I'm not a contemporary of Bob Dylan or anybody like that. I'm kind of a, about a generation or half a generation behind those guys. In fact, when I got to the village, you could land a plane in the middle of the, of the folk clubs and not hit anybody. But, uh, it was kind of good because it made it possible to get work really easy and to get your feet on the ground and get to play in front of an audience um, without it being super competitive. In the 1980s, it got a lot more competitive, and a lot of the people that I was in songwriting workshops with and played concerts with uh, are uh, out in the national folk circuit like I am today. Uh, Suzanne Vega and Sean Colvin and Christine Lavin and Dave Massingo, all, all pals of mine, good people. And uh, sometimes in the village, an idea would kind of buzz around and everybody would grab onto it all at once. For example, uh, we all started at one point reading about mythology, which is a dangerous thing. And, um, it was right around that time that a young woman walked up to me one day and said, Rod, I dreamed about us last night. And she was quite pretty and I was single. And so I said, really? What did you dream? And she said, I dreamed that we were together in many different lifetimes. And I said, really, what did we do? And she said, oh, mostly we were guys and we hung around the waterfront chasing women. <laughs> <laughs> so with that humble bit of origin. Three for the night watch, four for the rum that washed it all down. You can't change the wind, only change the sail. After the singing, we would sail.
Well, now, there's mythology and then there's like true stories. <laughs> this next song is a true story. Um, if you've ever been out to a Irish bar around St. Patrick's Day, you've no doubt heard lots of songs that mention Van Diemen's Land. It's where they packed everybody off that was considered undesirable in the early 1800s in the UK. In fact, uh, they deported a lot of people to Australia and Van Diemen's Land, which is the original name of what is now called Tasmania. Uh -huh. Tasmania is a beautiful little island off the southeast coast of Australia. And uh, I was down there about 10 years ago doing some folk festivals, and on a day off, I went down to a place called Port Arthur Prison. That was the prison where 40,000 young men ended up and never left. And in fact, uh, no one ever escaped from Port Arthur. It's on a small island separated by a deep ravine from the mainland of Tasmania. Directly to the south is the Southern Ocean that goes to Antarctica, and the water is so cold that a human being can't live in it for more than a couple of minutes. And there's no groundwater, so if you do escape from the prison, there's no place to go. You end up starving or freezing to death. And uh, as a result, there were no walls around the prison, and no one ever escaped. Now, when you go there, they hand you a deck of cards, and they say, pick a card. And I picked a card, and then you walk over to the wall, and on the wall are all the names of the prisoners, and each name corresponds to a card in the deck. They've selected... Um, 50 or so prisoners to be representative so that you can kind of follow their life as they spent their life in the prison. And I drew uh, a man named John King. And I said, and, and the woman who took my money and handed me the deck of cards said, oh my gosh, him. <laughs> and I said, well, what's his story? It sounds interesting. She said, he didn't belong here. I said, how could anybody spend their entire life in a prison and, and everybody knew that he didn't belong here? And she said, well, it was a very special kind of prison. And uh, that's the story of this song. It's called The Battle of the John King. Down to London in the spring for to make my name. For I had learned to work the so how to bend the blade. I was carrying a sample of the finest I had made. I went into a London shop of fine cutlery and showed the man my handiwork. He just stared at me and called for a policeman. To whom he then did say, This man's a thief, he stole this knife, please take him away. The judge said, Son, you stole that knife right up off the shelf. Says I to the judge, Sir, I made that blade myself. But I have in no money, he a man of worth. He sent me to Van Diemen's land, the bottom of the earth. Sail out on the foamy sea, never to return home. With not to do but sit below, chained a week and more. And sit in our own foulness, starving to our deaths. Till we arrived in Hobart Town, eleven of us left. Seven years was I a slave, then one day set free. Escape 
by land by sea and then with a freeze. It's here the prisoners build the ships of his majesty's light to keep the king in empire and the governor in fine wine. There's been a killing and no one knows whose hand took a life. We're short a man to build the ships a new prisoner arrives. Here at the bar The boys I'll make for you tonight. I'm here in Port Arthur for the rest of my natural something different with it. So I kind of borrowed something that I learned from Irish music, which is kind of a raga, an Irish raga type beat. Come you masters of war, you who build the big guns, you who build the jet planes, you who build all the bombs, you who hide behind walls, you who hide behind desks, I just want you to know I can see through your masks. You who never done nothing but build to destroy, you play with my world like it's your little toy. You put a gun in my hand Then you hide from my eyes Then you turn and run faster When the fast bullets fly Like Judas of old You lie and deceive A world war can be won You want me to believe 
But I see through your eyes Like I see through your brain Like I see through the water that runs down my drain You who fasten the triggers For the others to fire Then you sit back and watch While the death count gets higher you hide in your mansion While young people's blood Flows out of their bodies And gets buried in the mud Throw the worst fear that could ever be hurled. The fear to bring children into this world for threatening my babies. I'm born and not named. You ain't worth the blood that flows in your veins. How much do I know? Talk at a turn. You might say that I'm young. You might say I'm unlearned. But one thing I know, though I'm younger than you, even Jesus would never forgive what you do. Let me ask you one question Is your money that good? Will it buy? you'll find when your death takes its toll all the money you earn will never buy that you sold and I hope that you die and your death will come soon I'll follow your caskets through the pale afternoon I'll watch as you're lowered into your Stand over your grave till I'm sure that you're dead. probably know this guy, Patrick. He's going to play this djembe with me here. We're going to try a little tune. Um, when I was here uh, last year, I played a song for you folks. And, uh, and now that I'm up here in, and, uh, in, in an adrenaline mode, I can't remember the exact name of the person, but somebody here in Florence has been corresponding with me about this song, and I'm hoping she's here tonight so we can kind of renew our acquaintance. Um, this is a song that my six and three-year-old daughter helped me write. In fact, to say they helped me write it would be a very big understatement. Without my three-year-old, it would never exist at all. And so I made them co-writers, legally. If you look on my CD, you'll see their names there, too. And my three-year-old, I'm pretty convinced, is probably the youngest published writer of a song that anybody's aware of. And I'd like to invite you all to join me on this song. Tune first. So being in tune is always a good thing. Well, I'm, uh, let me just mention one or two things. Um, I brought a bunch of CDs with me tonight. They're all ten bucks. And uh, two quick announcements. If you did not get an email from me uh, about the show and you never like to, write down an email address or take one of my cards. I got a bunch of cards somewhere. Let's see. Here's a few. Take one of these. Can you put those on that table over there? And, um, Grab one of those and send me an email, and I'll make sure that never happens again. And um, also, all the CDs are ten bucks, but I only have four copies of the new one because <laughs> I kind of had a run on the other night, and you can only get so many in your suitcase when I flew here. So uh, here's what I'll do: if, if folks, uh, if more than three or four folks want the new one, or any of the ones that I only have a couple copies of, 
Um, we'll just, uh, I'll, I'll take 10 bucks from you tonight, give me your name and address, and I'll send you the CD in about 10 days uh, and pay the postage myself, since it's my bad. So it won't cost you any more, you just have to wait a few days for it. Hope that's okay, and frankly I hope there's at least more than three or four of you who would like to use it. <laughs> I thank you for your contributions to the basket, that is my pay, so please, uh, please be nice. Okay, here we go. Well, I got a secret I can tell, and I know something new. I got a secret I can tell, I'm gonna tell it to you. Cause you've got a belly button, he's got a belly button, she's got a belly button too. I got a belly button, everybody's got a head when no one's better than you. That's the chorus.
That's not too short a set, is it? Usually, I, I think I play too long a first set, so I th thought I'd kind of temper my normal uh, tendency to run out too long. All right, here we go. Well, you know, Oregon is a pretty um, progressive state, I hear. Amen. Um, at least in Florida, by comparison, it certainly seems to be. And, uh, so this, song, this song may seem like old hat to you folks, but back in South Florida, uh, it's only been really for about four or five years that uh, it's been illegal to smoke in restaurants. And uh, it changed the nature of, of uh, entertaining for guys like me who play in all kinds of different clubs. Um, it used to be that people would sit there for the length of a set, but now they kind of come and go at 20 minute intervals. <laughs> if there's a tip jar involved, they'll often walk up, throw you five bucks, ask you to play something, and then leave the room. Or they'll come up to you and ask you why you haven't played the song that they requested when you just did. So for all these people and lots more, I wrote this next song it's called While You Were Outside. <laughs>
too much. I don't, there may be a time we have to be out of here, so let's not make it too long today. But yeah, baskets up here. If you didn't contribute to the basket, I'd sure appreciate it if you would. And CDs are over here at the table too. Thank you.